writing a critical review of St. Augustine's famous work, The Confessions. How many of you, incidentally, have ever read The Confessions of St. Augustine? All right, that's a very small number in this group. And if the number's the same on television, let me admonish you right now and say this. My, my mother used to say, in, in, in a situation like that, is that she would take a finger from this hand and a finger from this hand, and she would put them together like this. <laughs> and she would say, shame on you. Now listen, if you've been a Christian for one year and you haven't read the Confessions of St. Augustine, shame on you. That is a classic that we need to be exposed to. Now... Yeah, you know, and, and I think this is very true of R.C. People see him as the platform speaker, and he was. I mean, he was the consummate platform speaker teacher mm -hmm. that was just incredible. But I'm telling you, there is a foundation of he just put his feet under the desk, rolled up his sleeves, and slogged through books. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, I had access to his library when I wrote the biography, and his personal books, it's underlines, it's margin notes, it's highlighter. Um, he's an active reader. He mm -hmm. would sometimes keep notebooks of notes on books he read. So there's a lot of study there, and uh, that's very true for classical apologetics. Mm. And it's a, he's a good model, right? We don't. It's so easy for us to sort of go after people, and not really spend the hard work of getting in and making sure we've understood them, and then challenging them. Yeah. He's a good model for that. Is the proper Christian scholarship uh, uh, approach? Absolutely.